have to see where we were coming in from. We were coming in against Ghana, who was the last African team in this tournament. This was a team that everybody had become attached to because in a home tournament hosted in Africa, you'd want an African team to go far. Ghana was the best African side in the World Cup. We had a spirited team. The whole of Africa was behind us. We played good football. It was a charismatic team. Every neutral was behind our country. So everybody was waiting for Sule when Andrea you couldn't play. And lo and behold, Sule scored and the whole town screamed. Sorry, goes for goal! That memory will forever linger on and I wish his goal had taken us to the next level. When Suley Montari scores that goal at the end of the first half, it, it, it started to hit me. I thought we were out of this World Cup. I thought that was it. One of the dangerous things that Ghana did was give Forlan a free kick. Here go Forlan, a crucial moment in the match for Uruguay! Goal, Forlan! Clinically struck, and that's what makes him such a dangerous player. that it could just slip away for Uruguay here at the very death of the match. I remember that ball coming in. It's going to get the flick in, and Muslera! Get it out, get it out, get it out, just get it out. And cleared on the line, the referee's assistant is flagging. Perfect, we cleared it, and the ref stopped the game, so I thought even better, there's a foul in the box, our ball, we can just let it go into penalties. What a finish to the match! That was not what happened. The red card coming out as well. Well, there had to be drama. Hand of World 2.0. Was Suarez cheating? Well, of course he was. Uruguayans have this attitude, and we have this saying. It's called Garra Charrua, which is essentially the Uruguayan fighting spirit and the Uruguayan never give up attitude. He definitely broke the law, but I think he was rightly punished for his. His actions. Of course, any player would do that. Any player would sacrifice himself for his country at a stage as big as the World Cup. Asamwa Jian to send Ghana into the semi finals of the World Cup and he hits the bar. I cast, I questioned life, I questioned God. John Mente sees the shot saved by Muslera. And I remember seeing that Sebastian El Loco Abreu lined up to take the last penalty. Anybody who is Uruguayan, anybody who is South American, anybody who knows El Loco, which means the crazy one, Abreu, knows that he has a tendency to chip every penalty he takes. They all stand arms around one another. It is Abreu! It's the cheekiest chip you've ever seen. And it's good enough to take the South Americans into the semi-finals. It was a miracle. Miracles in football, yet yeah, they do happen. I don't believe in deserving in football. For me, in football, you don't deserve. You win or you lose. It has been uh, a terrible moment for the entire continent, not only the, our nation, but the entire continent. It has been a disaster because we have all the chances on this world to win today's game. Unfortunately for a lot of neutrals and for, for all of Africa, they were devastated not to see Africa go through and if I was a neutral at the time, I'm sure I would have wanted Ghana to go through as well. As a Ghanaian, honestly, I was numb. We couldn't speak to each other. I was totally shattered. I thought this was Ghana's time.